What's up everybody, I'm Skylar. I'm just waking up and I'm so excited to make this video and to show you what just came in the mail. Bear with me, it's a little messy in here in the background, that's why it's pretty dark right now. We've been getting ready for Horrorville 2022, so we have all of our supplies out. We are in the middle of making a million different things. I have masks over here that I still need to paint. We are super excited for Horrorville, but the thing that I am most excited about is the fact that we are cosplaying there and I get to be Leon S. Kennedy from Resident Evil. I've picked the Leon Kennedy costume from Resident Evil 2 just because it's one that I've wanted to do for a long time. I really love Resident Evil 2, the original game on PlayStation 1, and the remake that I've been playing on PlayStation 4. I've been a Resident Evil fan since I played Resident Evil 4 years and years ago. That is my favorite game of all time, and of course the lead protagonist in that game is Leon. So I've looked up to this character for a long time. I really love him. And I'm so excited to be able to cosplay as him at Horrorville this year. So this morning, as soon as I got up, I looked outside and on my front porch, I had all these packages. Within all of these boxes are pieces that I've bought to put together my Leon costume. So what I have done is I've bought all of the pieces. I'm gonna put them all together in one costume. I'm going to alter some of it to make it look more like Leon. Right now, we're gonna open these packages up and see what we got. I'm going to use the old trusty kitchen knife to do this. Okay, so we're gonna start with this big boy right here. If you ever open anything with a knife, try your best to cut away from you, which I didn't do just now. So this lovely package that I'm holding right here are my elbow pads and my knee pads. In Resident Evil 2, Leon is wearing several different types of padding to make sure that he doesn't get hurt while he's battling zombies. I've tried to take these elbow pads and knee pads and match them up to his as best as I could. So these pads I found on Amazon, they were about $20. Compared to some other pads that I found, that was pretty cheap. But if you want to go even cheaper, you may even be able to find some skateboarding elbow and knee pads. That could be an option. Sometimes you can find those at thrift shops or yard sales, maybe even on eBay or from somebody who's cleaning out a garage. We are going to move on to the next package. Okay, this is the big boy. I am so excited for this one. I have no idea what it is either. I'm just excited. All right, I think I know what this is. This is Leon's bulletproof vest. This is a costume bulletproof vest. This was only $30. You can find ones that are even cheaper than that, honestly. Last year, I went to Spirit Halloween and they had them for maybe 20 bucks. Those were a little thin in my opinion. They didn't really have enough weight to them. If you were to go that route, I would suggest finding some EVA foam or some sort of crafting foam to put behind them so it gives it a little bit more weight and it feels a little bit more realistic. It would just keep it more sturdy as you walk around if you're going to a convention. Honestly though, it would do the trick fine if that was your only option. With this though, it really looks the part and feels the part. It's thick enough to pass as a real bulletproof vest. We're gonna put this over here for safekeeping. What we're gonna do now though, is we're gonna go ahead and head to a thrift store because I have to find pants to wear as Leon. Leon wears blue cargo pants, similar to just any cargo pants that you could find at pretty much any store, like Dickies. But I'm going to try and find some today that are really cheap because I like to save money, especially in a hobby that's usually so expensive like cosplay. So let's go ahead and go to the thrift store. I have returned home from the thrift store. Unfortunately, I could not find any pants there that would work for this costume, but I do have good news. The good news is I did find some pants at a little store called Royal King. At Royal King, they kind of sell like farming and 
agriculture equipment, and they also sell work clothes. So I was able to find some Dickies navy blue pants there. They work totally fine. They have the pockets on the side that match Leon's. They work perfect as Leon's pants because Leon wears navy blue pants with his police uniform. They are pretty affordable and they're comfortable. If you don't have a Royal King close to you, then I would recommend going to Walmart because I know Walmart also sells navy blue Dickies pants. Honestly, any navy blue pants with the pockets on the sides would work fine. Whatever you find, I'm sure it will work great if you choose to do a Leon Kennedy costume from Resident Evil 2, but I am so happy with these pants. So now that we have some of Leon's padding and his pants, I am just waiting for his undershirt and his police shirt. They should be coming through the mail in a few days. I am also waiting on his police patches that will go on his vest. So we are going to go ahead and fast forward to when I get the rest of those pieces to the costume. See you soon! Hey guys, it's Skylar from the future, and not only have I received all of the pieces to my costume, but I have finished the entire costume as well. Let's go ahead and look at the rest of the costume, piece by piece. Here's the holster that I found online. This was a very affordable holster. I believe it was only around $20. It has a couple of buckles on it that keep it attached very nicely. It also consists of a few different straps that go around your thigh. All in all, it's a great holster. This is Leon's knife holster. This is just the typical knife holster that you would see that slides around a belt. It unlatches with Velcro. You can find these in the hunting section, in tactical stores, a lot of different places. Next, we have Leon's flashlight holder. This slides nicely on a belt and keeps the flashlight in place while walking around. Leon definitely needs a flashlight when walking around the dark police station. Who wouldn't want an extra flashlight walking around that place? Here we have one of Leon's belts. This one seems to be more tactical than most belts and definitely doesn't have a traditional buckle on it. It works nicely. It's very sleek. The second belt that he has is a little bit different. This belt is a woven black belt. It definitely has a little bit more style than the other belt. I'm sure somebody carrying as much as Leon is carrying, they would probably need two belts. It probably helps to wear two belts while carrying so many weapons and things around your waist. I really wouldn't want my pants falling down in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Here are the fingerless gloves that I found for the costume. I feel like these are probably the most accurate you could get to Leon's gloves. The only thing that you may want to cover up on these is this logo right here. Honestly though, from where the logo and the gloves are the same color, it's really hard to notice. When it comes to footwear in this costume, you can pretty much use any type of black boots. I was lucky to have a pair of combat boots on hand. I've used these boots in so many different costumes, it is insane. I would highly recommend investing in a pair of black boots. As you can see right here, I have the two shirts that go with the costume. This is just a typical navy blue police shirt. I actually found this on a first responders uniform website. It was really cheap. I think it was like $19, $20. But to make it look more like Leon's shirt, I went ahead and put the Raccoon City police patches on it. I found these patches on Etsy. You could also probably find them on Amazon or eBay. They were around $5 a piece, as well as the tactical RPD patches to put on the bulletproof vest. The shirt on the inside is just a regular long sleeve white shirt. It was $7 online. You can find these about anywhere, honestly. And last, but definitely not least, the final touch to my Leon costume. Leon's signature haircut. I believe this is the first wig that I've ever bought for a costume. I think down the road, I will definitely trim it up a little bit to make it look more like Leon's. But for now, it will do the trick. We bought this for $14 or $15 online. It has some darker highlights in it, which to me makes it look a little bit more realistic. Leon's hair looks a little darker in the Resident Evil 2 remake compared to the previous games. In Resident Evil 4, his hair was very blonde. And the original Resident Evil 2, his hair was kind of red. So his hairdo has changed a lot through the years, but I really tried to find a wig that best suited him in Resident Evil 2 remake. And now it's time for the big reveal. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to check out my Leon costume. I hope that you've had a good time watching me piece it together. It's really fulfilling to scratch it off my to-do list. And the fact that I got to dress up as one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite franchises is really cool. I'm a huge fan of Resident Evil, a huge fan of Leon Kennedy, 
and you never know, maybe I'll do more Resident Evil characters in the future. We will definitely have more cosplay videos coming soon, so don't forget to subscribe for content about cosplay, collectibles, and all the fun creations that we make. We hope that our content inspires you to go and make something, so go have fun and craft, and make sure to tell us what you're making down in the comments below. Also, feel free to tag us in pictures of the things that you make on social media. We are Sage Lake on Facebook and Instagram, and Sage Lake Crafts on TikTok. See you all soon. Thanks. Bye.